left. Yeah. Five meters long, powerful bite, and lots of venom. When you see this king, you don't bow, you run. Here's how to survive a king cobra attack. These majestic reptiles are the longest venomous snake on Earth. They can be found in India, South China, and Southeast Asia. Their ideal habitat ranges from bamboo thickets, high altitude grasslands, forests, mangrove swamps, and rivers. They are known for being able to lift up to a third of their body off the ground and lunge forward in an attack. The king cobra's venom is less potent than other snakes, but they inject it in high quantities. Just one bite can deliver enough neurotoxin to kill 20 people or even an elephant. Today, we'll give you some tips on surviving its royal attack. Step one, look out for nests. King Cobras will be the first to know when you're in their territory. Their eyesight is better than most snakes, and they can spot a moving person nearly 100 meters away. When you see them, they may already be on the defensive, so move away with caution. Thankfully, these reptiles are shy and don't want anything to do with you, unless you get near their eggs. The King Cobra is the only snake that builds nests, and they will defend them aggressively. Step two, take a hint. Careful, you're officially in the King's realm now. It will let you know by rearing up its front off the ground, spreading its hood, and showing you its fangs. Then it will make a hiss, which can sometimes sound like a growling dog. This is the sign for you to get out of there. Step three, challenge the king. If you're cornered and an attack is imminent, you can try to stand up to it. This is what Mike Holston, the self-described real Tarzan, did in one of his online videos. The footage shows Mike holding the snake by its tail as it starts to rear up. After being dropped, the cobra turns back to attack. This is when Holston decides to raise up his arms and hiss, spooking the snake enough that it takes off. If that doesn't work, use whatever you have near you to defend yourself. Throw sticks or rocks to scare it away it is quite possible the snake will try to retreat. Step four, no tourniquets. If you are bitten by King Cobra, you could die of respiratory failure in less than 30 minutes. Go to the hospital immediately. You'll need to get a specific King Cobra antivenom. While applying a tourniquet can reduce the spread of the venom, it also traps it in one area. This could result in severe necrosis, which might then lead to an arm or leg having to be amputated. An alternative to tourniquets is light bandaging of the site and immobilizing the bitten limb while you rush to the hospital. Now you know how to avoid this massive reptile in Asia. But there's a place in South America where you can barely take a couple of steps without encountering a snake. And unlike the King Cobra, these ones aren't shy and are always on the hunt. Could you stay alive for a week on Snake Island? Find out here on How to Survive. <laughs>